Says the Great, Amer Great Maryland Bash, not a scaffold in sight. I'm a little disappointed mm. on that. Just wait till next year. Mm. And coming into the ring is Jawbreaker Joey Banez. And oh, get ready for the electric slide yeah, here. Yeah, I hear that wild cherry playing in the background of my mind. We got to because there's no ring, ring announcements, no ring music. So mm. you forgot to bring the audio today, didn't you? That's another thing you did wrong. From mm. DC, weighing 170 Ooh, pounds, oh, yeah. Jawbreaker Ooh. Joey Ibanez. Ibanez. Excuse me. I'm just proud that Socrates could hold the belt upright in the correct position this time. It's a heavy belt. And now For announcing the cruiserweight especially. Weighing 180 pounds from Charm City, Maryland, your EWA Cruiserweight Champion, the Electric Eel O'Neill. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Cruiserweight title action here. Uh, you know, I have to ask her too. Who would name their child Eel? I don't know. Uh, where, where was he from? Louisiana, Mississippi. I. Who names their child Derek? Oh well, I'll have you know that Derek is the Dutch diminutive of Theodore, which means ruler of the people. It's your history lesson for the day. Yeah, it is. And speaking of history, these two have a bit of history. Uh, if you check out uh, Flying V Fights out of S Silver Spring, Maryland, these two have had quite a bit of a rivalry and uh, uh, started a little less than a year ago, actually. Uh, Joey Ibanez in his uh, just completing his first year in the business. Uh, Eel O'Neill uh, once turned his back on him uh, in Flying V and joined the stable known as the head of the class, which uh, I did a little bit of research on. Uh, Howard Hessman, Billy Connolly has no uh, affiliation with head of the class. I was a little bit uh, frazzled to, uh, to hear that. But beyond that, let's go on to this. We got some sweet chain wrestling going on with uh, Mr. Ibanez and Mr. Eel. Joey, oh, Joey with a swift escape there. And uh, now he's got him, I'm sort of bridged out and back into the, but I was gonna say into the side headlock and right into the hammer lock as quick as I was gonna say it. Well, we were talking about school a little bit earlier now. How good a student have you heard that Eel is? I mean, uh, you know, he's a, He's a part of the uh, the Flying V Theater troupe as well mm -hmm. as Mr. Ibanez. Yeah, well, and, uh, I have to say, I remember his uh, was talking with his mother backstage once there too, and she said that his first report card had all D's. You are D for dumbass. You are around the mothers quite a bit. I'm, I'm wondering hey, about. I can't that. help them when they flock to their little boys when um, they come here. Whoa. Now wait a minute. Yeah. I uh. Yeah. You may wanna you may wanna shut that down just a little bit there. I think the heat's getting and uh It's the fumes in this place. Yeah. So right now we have about a 50-50 uh spread here on both of these guys. They're uh very even in the technical aspects, the feeling out process taking place. And uh yeah, they are uh I do love me some chain wrestling, that is true. And uh seeing it in bunches right here they're certainly schooling everyone on the fundamentals yeah snap this mike martin <laughs> and uh it is definitely uh a, a, a difference in what we've seen so far everybody wanting to get a quick start and also what people may think of a cruiserweight match you might think oh it's going to start out quickly they're going right to the chain wrestling and trying to uh keep the other one grounded and keep the other one to not go in a uh, no, no, no. and uh, Joey Banez Ibanez so why, do I, why do I keep mangling that name I'm good with mangling names uh, isn't that right Mr. Bench uh, very much so Clunker <laughs> Dr. Howard Dr. Fine Dr. Howard stop talking about somebody call my mama somebody call my mama Somebody call my mama. And Eel. Ooh. 
slipping out of that predicament like the eel he is and oh. now flipping through oh counter that cross arm breaker and if he gets that class he looks like he look at the eyes look at the eyes he's got it synced is he's he, got it synced in real good look how focused he he's is he's got to get that class uh unfastened or uh, that's not going to be very effective but Ibanez back to a standing position waist and a waist lock takedown that's a cover and a two and once again slowing down the momentum we are seeing the clinic here well what we can see here is classic pacing on the part of Josie Ivorette Joey Ivarez. Is that it? now? Oh what, I think I'm contagious. What, I caught whatever you oh, got. Oh no, and the mask is coming back on again. Yeah, better, oh, okay, better be block. safe than sorry. I think I'm going to practice my social distancing with you. And oh, leap frog. Leap over on the roll through. Oh, a nice passo. Into a roll through and then. Wow. I heard of that move. El Paso de Monte. And that, uh, that attempt at a cradle is now being countered into AC. a choke. Now, not to go against Joey here, but this is where the ref should be counting. Look, his shoulders are on the mat. I'm, Once again, oh, this ref... Well, ooh. Oh, finally. He reacted. You see, that's why you need me around there. I'd... I make great predictions. I give excellent advice. And he makes house calls. Oh. Just ask, ask the mothers. Uh. And, uh... He gets shot off. Shoulder breaker. Once again, going through oh. on the roll through and countered that one that time. You know, some lucha style arm drags going on. You know, this is a great match. I got to give these guys credit. And uh. Ibanez in control of the arm. Hear that, Michael Cole? Uh, yeah. Mike Martin going through the uh, the play-by-play. -play. Yeah. Might be able to give you some lessons there, bro. I, you know, I take any and all advice. Uh, Under advisement, huh? Uh, yes. And uh, Ibanez making sure to put that, that knee right towards the, the chin. Control the base. Throws him into the buckle there. Ivan is being put out into the apron. Oh, that shot. You heard that all the way up here. And now, oh, into the buckle. Eel going for his next maneuver, but Ivan is off the top rope into another lucha arm drag. And, oh, Ibanez was ready for him there, sits him up. You can see the perspiration fly on that open hand chop. And Ibanez, oh, trying to finish it off. Oh, going for a hip toss out of the corner. Man, it's amazing these guys have any arms left after all these drags. And that backbreaker, he holds on to it twice. Or we know it might see what Doink did years ago to crush there too. Take his arm right out of his socket. We could see that right here in this match. That would be quite impressive. Ibanez is trying to fight out and uh, yeah, the uh, fatigue factor, I gotta imagine is starting to set in uh, with this heat. Uh, that, is, that is hot as it was yesterday. You guys on Facebook should watch your language as well too. I'm seeing some of this stuff. He's gonna call your mothers on you. Yeah, uh, gonna call somebody. Call the PC police. And oh, wheelbarrow being countered into a victory roll, perhaps? No, wait, he's got him tied up. There it is. Could this be? Yeah. Oh, almost saw a new cruiserweight champion there. Another wheelbarrow counter into a roll through. Eel, is Eel setting him up for the pendulum? Now, what he has to do right here is take that one arm out and hold on to that top rope, get some additional leverage. Well, first, Come he's, on! He's got a, that referee can't see. What the hell? He's got a struggle in, in getting this maneuver on. I know he's do trying it. to get to the pendulum hooked up, I imagine. At least I would in this situation, but nope. Ibanez powers out of it. Great leg strength being shown there. 
And uh, looks like you heard his uh, what the great gorilla monsoon head said is optical particular protuberance. And there, oh, wheelbarrows of plenty that turns into a bulldog, and Eel seems to be shocked with that maneuver. Oh, and a sliding kick to the side of the head. Both men are down. Ivan has is going for the cover. Got Whoa. Too. Right at the last split second. You know, Eel O'Neill uh, making sure that uh, any EWA uh, exhibition that we've had so far since uh, the uh, since becoming cruiserweight champion, he has made sure that he, he has tried to get a, uh, a defense. He wants to be known as a fighting champion, and he certainly picked uh, an opponent that. Uh, he feels that it's going to give him the best challenge. Well, you can see right here, they're tiring. Definitely oh, oh, jeez. Fatigue starting to kick in here. Oh. Lots of counters. Too close to call. Oh, soul food. And that has stunned Neil O'Neill. And Ivan is getting the second win. Going for the cutter. Spare us the cutter, says Neil O'Neill. And right into a... Roaring forearm. Making his way out. Oh. Uh, foot on the ropes. That's, that, uh, that's that, that cheap way you were talking about earlier. Well, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's like I've always said, Joe. Like you've always said. Yeah. Hope you're all keeping notes at home. Uh, uh, you know, when you're in that ring, you got to do what it takes. And uh, referee getting up to seven. Seven. Which is a surprise. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, oh, and wow, oh. What? Out of nowhere, the Red Prince Tiberius Sykes taking out both men. Well, this great cruiserweight title match has uh, has been marred by the presence of the Red Prince as he scores a twisting brain buster on Eel. Well, there goes Joey's title shot. There goes Joey's title shot. There goes the great match, and mm -hmm. and there goes. Uh, I guess uh, the Red Prince got some satisfaction out of the day I mean, after he's all. He's got a. Uh, I understand. Uh, he's got the cruiserweight title. Let's talk about the title. I never lost by pin or oh. submission. Wow, he's got a point there. Oh, poor Eli. You see, what a gentleman he was, just laying that title right on him. There will be another time here, but I do see something in Tiberius Sykes. I think He's got to get another title shot. I think we've all seen something in Tiberius Sykes over uh, at Rage in a Cage, and in particular this afternoon, his temperament uh, not being successful earlier on, getting the best of him and uh, marring the finish of what was looking to be a classic cruiserweight title encounter between Eel O'Neill and the jawbreaker Joey Ibanez. Well, all I hope is that next time we don't have to deal with the cruiserweight champion with the name Eel. And I'm hoping the next time I don't have to deal with an announcer named Derek. Not very polite. And a great round of applause here. And, uh, well, that's it here Eel from... That's it here from the Great Maryland Bash from the Sweet 16. A.K. Willis, John Bird, that will go on soon enough. I'm Joe Clunk, along with Derek Benish. We will see you on the other side.